October 12, 2019, and it's my graduation day for my master's, so get ready with me. Okay, so I'm here in Los Baños, Laguna. I've been here since yesterday because the venue of the graduation is in here. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to book a hotel. Uh, most hotels near UB are already fully booked, so I had to settle for a room in a resort. Okay, folks, are you ready? So first, I have with me here all my toiletries. Um, I put it in one container like this um, so that I could carry it around. Uh, I don't usually leave it inside the bathroom or the toilet. Personally, I would rather bring it out to the bathroom just to make sure everything is clean and not contaminated. And yeah, so I put it in one container. I don't think I look normal today. Um, I'm having a, a little bit of a runny nose. And I also have a pimple breakout. Um, it's, it's coming from all the stress preparing for the graduation. But never mind that. I mean, I'm graduating, so that's the least of my concerns, right? The first thing that I have to do is floss my teeth. By the way, this video is not sponsored, so. It, just in case I'll be mentioning some brands, it's really just me sharing the things or the brands that I trust. With regard to dental flossing, I'm using Medgard. Uh, it comes in packs like this. The nice thing about this is that it comes with individual uh, packaging for each and every dental floss toothpaste. I'll open one and show it to you. Um, I usually just use the floss part. When using toothpaste, it actually pushes the food particles inside your gums and it's causing more damage than benefit. So I would just use the floss part. I'll floss my teeth. Okay, so when it comes to toothbrush, I'm using a KD toothbrush. And the nice thing about using a small toothbrush is that it enables, it enables me to reach my molars so I'm able to clean my oral cavity very thoroughly. I normally use the Dental B Basic Junior toothbrush. It comes in it comes in two, so I'm able to replace my toothbrushes more frequently and it's not that expensive. And the nice thing about it is that it has a cover. Most uh, kitty toothbrushes don't have a cover. So this is, I think, the only one, this is the only brand that has a kitty toothbrush with a cover. So it's very important that it has a cover so that it's more hygienic. And I normally replace my toothbrushes like maybe every three to six months. As frequent as I um, consume an entire toothpaste. So if you buy your toothpaste, then it's about time to replace your toothbrush. And aside from the one that I'm using now, I still have a couple more toothbrushes here. So this will be replaced pretty soon. When it comes to toothpaste, I really recommend, the one that I'm really using is Flukeril. And the nice thing about Flukeril is it's not that harsh to your teeth and uh, it preserves that natural shine and I really like that about Flucaril but as you can see it's almost fully consumed and I've been looking for Flucaril the past few days in different groceries and it's out of stock so the one that I'm using uh, alternate with Flucaril is uh, human nature. This is a natural toothpaste. So this is this is another good brand. This was given to me by my cousin. 
So Madam Joyce, thank you so much for this uh, human nature toothpaste. And yeah. Okay, so right now I'm going to share with you how I brush my teeth. Um, I have my toothbrush right here. And this is a bit weird because I don't do it the usual way. Um, first, I make sure that my hands are clean, so I just washed it. And uh, I don't put the toothpaste directly on my toothbrush. Again, I don't think that's hygienic, but that's debatable. Okay, so first I try to put a pea-sized toothpaste on my index finger, just like that. And then, and then, I transfer this on my toothbrush. There. And then, I try to tap a <clears throat> small amount of baking soda. I'm using baking soda, guys. Um, baking soda is good to whiten your teeth. I don't recommend you guys doing this regularly. I only do this on special occasions. It's more frequent than maybe every two weeks. But don't do it daily, okay? That's a no-no. So I try to put a tiny amount of baking soda on my palms and I try to dip my toothbrush with a toothpaste on it and there and that's what I use to brush my teeth. So I just finished brushing my teeth and it feels a lot cleaner because I use baking soda. And yeah, but anyway, just a clarification guys. Don't be discouraged if your teeth is a little bit yellowish because yellowish teeth is a sign of healthy teeth. You know, it doesn't have to be super duper white. Um, some people have super duper white teeth and some are veneers and you don't really have to worry about having a super duper white teeth. And the next thing that I'm going to do is shave. I prefer the disposable razor and with regard to shaving cream or shaving foam, I normally buy Gillette. So I just normally buy this size because it's really convenient when I travel, it's not that heavy. And I'm able to consume this for a very long time already, so this is a good buy. Okay, so I normally just use that amount. I don't need a lot. And, yeah. Apply generously to the areas that you have to shave. bring all this stuff out of the bathroom and it's time to take a shower. Okay, so now I'm back and I just finished taking a shower and my hair is still wet. So this is the time that I grab the comb and just brush my hair so that I get it out of my face. Now, this is time that I have to make use of a sunscreen. I don't regularly use a sunscreen, but so whenever I know that I have to be under the sun for a certain amount of time, like for instance later in the afternoon because we're going to be required to walk in front of the oblation and it's going to be at 4 p.m. so I need protection from the sun. So I'm using human nature. Uh, this is sunscreen SPF 30 and this was given to me by my cousin so Madame Joyce thank you so much for uh, this human nature sunscreen and so I'll apply 
a very minimal amount and it's going to be super lightweight. enough and I'm gonna start putting it on my forehead. I don't apply it generously, just you know very minimal on my nose. Nose is very important because the sun would really hit that. So I'll put it on my chin. Okay. Very lightly put on, on your eyelids. Outwards on your temples. Okay. I make sure you wash your hands so that they're clean. And then on my cheeks and under the eyes. Thoroughly massage it very lightly. And on the other side as well. Just rub a little bit on your ears because it will be exposed as well. And the remaining product on your neck. And on your knee. Basically anything that will be exposed under the sun. So right now I have two very important products. Again, this is not sponsored, so I just really wanted to share this. Um, I'm using products for so many years now. So if there's any, any product that I've been using for like decades, it's the uh, Nivea deodorant. And... Um, this is really good, but my only problem with this is that sometimes the roller is very difficult to use, but it's really, really dependable. So it's 48 hour protection, so that's Nivea, and they also have the Nivea, uh, this is a lip balm, okay, so I usually get chapped lips, but whether I get chapped lips or not, I try to use Nivea anyway, so it moisturizes my lips. Okay. So Nivea deodorant and Nivea lip balm. Okay, so you, before you apply your lip balm, you have to moisturize your lips first. Okay, and that way when you apply this, the moisture is locked. Okay, and I try to put minimal amount of the upper lip only and just rub it and try to remove the excess and leave it like that for a few minutes okay so I think I'm done there you go okay so right now I need to blow dry my hair so I have my blower and the brush
Oh, by the way, um, this blower was given to me by my dear cousin as a Christmas gift. I think that was about two or three years ago. So thank you so much, my little sweet, for this wonderful gift. I'm still using it right now, and it's really, really convenient. Okay, so now that my hair is dry, I can now add hair products. And I have two right here. One is uh, Molding Clay. This is Fix Professional by Bench. And the other one is a finishing spray. And this one is by Suave. And this is Firm Control. For Bench, uh, the hold is number four. And the shine is number one. Okay, so I'm going to put the clay first. I'll just get like maybe that much and I'm going to spread it out on my palms and fingers and just insert it like that. And I'm going to get some more. So Again, that much and then rub it on my fingers and then I'm going to do the opposite side so I have enough volume and sometimes it's kind of weak Still, so I'm gonna add a little bit more and put it in the middle. Okay, so now I look like an anime character, but it's okay because we can fix everything and make it a little bit more smoother as we go along. Volume is very important. So I don't use a comb for this. I just use my hands until I get the desired hairstyle. So for today, I'm going for a classic look, formal and neat. Wait, I forgot something. I need one more mirror. So yeah, I have an extra mirror just to check if everything is in place. Now once I'm satisfied with all the angles, then I can start using the finishing hairspray. Shake it first. Now the amount that I put would usually depend on how long I want to keep that hairstyle. So the longer the event, the more products that I have to use. Okay. So I think this should be enough for the graduation. Okay, so over here is my barong. And this was designed by a very good friend, Don Cristobal. And this actually came uh, inside of Bagnon. And that's because Dawn is known for beautifying Bayongs like this and it brings Bayongs to a different level. Yeah, you can check out uh, Don Cristobal's details through his social media accounts and I'll put it here. And yeah, check out the pictures and Dawn is a genius when it comes to design, so you can check it out. And with regard to the bra, 
let me show it to you. It's very, very nice. So here's the bra. Look at it. Look at those details and the buttons. Yeah, I can't wait to wear it. Ha, ha, ha.